uh, college education, greatest con of all time. Um, getting people to sign up for their own slavery. It's insane. Getting people to, you know, become their own indentured servant is is one of the greatest cons of all time. It bothers me to no end that Kamala Harris in particular uh, has put, I think, Pat, you told me it was 1,400 people in jail for, for, for minor marijuana offenses, and she has the balls to own stock in marijuana companies. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the balls on this woman to put people in jail for weed and then be a part owner in a weed company? So... Look, I think, look, if this is a free market thing, I love it. I think you should be able to buy weed. I think you should be able to buy mushrooms. I think you should be able to buy LSD. Whatever you want, whatever a consenting adult wants to do in their free time, they should be allowed to do it. And you know what? If Mar- if, if I can have a drone deliver it to me, even better. Even better, man. Deliver me my Cheetos, my weed, straight into my room. I don't need to leave. I'm a happy camper, okay? But I don't I cannot live in a society where where my fat ass can be sitting on a couch eating Cheetos and smoking a ball while somebody is in jail for 30 years for, for trying to provide me with that happiness. It's nonsensical that we are still doing this. Put, get, let these people out of jail tomorrow. Let them out of jail today. To me, is one of these things, it's just, it, 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 it's a wrong that we have to right. I think the red pill movement is going too far. I, bet, I also think it's, it was always going to happen. This is Hegelian dialectic, man. This is the hard left. It's like hard, a rubber band effect, kind of. The hard woke left was always going to bring out a hard right. Mm. You know, that false binary of they lied to us about the vaccine so all medicine must be must be bad right it's not the answer either yeah there's a we got to meet in the middle yeah the alien dialectic is this constant struggle how society moves forward is it pushes from one extreme to another and then it breaks and then it pushes from that extreme to the other so if this extreme is bad then this extreme must be good and the only period of health and happiness in humanity is that little middle period where we're pushing off of one extreme before we get to the other extreme so mm-hmm. we're we're getting if you believe in the Hegelian dialectic, we're getting to the end of pushing away from mm-hmm. one extreme towards another, and then we're going to get into an extreme, waste a couple generations on fucking human depravity, come back away from that, and then, you know. And then maybe we meet in the middle somewhere? Or? Yeah, and then take another hundred years. Another yep. hundred years. Another hundred years for good happiness, you know. It's so you think after this woke stuff that it's going to go the total opposite way? Yeah. If somebody says something, that should be illegal, okay? A lot of people say, well, that should be illegal, and they don't understand the consequence of what yes. exactly they're saying. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is like, okay, if that should be illegal, what you're saying is, is if I do that, then a man with a gun should come to my house and hold it to my face and say, get in that cage or else I'm going to kill you. That That's what that is right so like every new law that we create i just want people to understand like okay you're creating an opportunity for for somebody to say do the same to you exactly later on and and i'm gonna i'm gonna kidnap you at gunpoint i mean really that like that's what being arrested is being arrested is the state kidnapping you at gunpoint now maybe you deserved it maybe you didn't but that is what being arrested is be very very clear so i try to describe that to people like being arrested is being kidnapped at gunpoint by the state but I was like, there is no such thing as white privilege. There's British privilege. The Brits did everything. It's the Brits. And it, it's a remarkable to me that the only two people, the only two white people that are, like, allowed on TV anymore are the Vikings and British. They were the worst of yeah. all. They were the worst colonizers of anybody. Like, right. what's the, the British were the worst. And this idea of, like, white privilege, if you were Irish, you were getting raped by Britain for a thousand years before the new world ever existed. And now you have to sit here and admit your privilege. It's like, what the fuck? It's British. Let's get the Brits to pony up some cash, man. Pedophiles knew what they were doing the whole time. Oh, you don't like drag shows with children? What are you, anti-drag? No, it has not. Everybody loved the movie Mrs. Doubtfire. It has nothing to do with dressing in drag. It has to do with the 10-inch fucking dildo, bro, right in front of the child. Like, well, like, are we, are we really going to act like we don't know the difference? Are we really going to act like... It has nothing to do with you dressed in drag or living an alternative lifestyle. It has to do with the child, with the with the sign behind him going, it's not going to suck itself. I was just going to say that that was crazy. So like, That was crazy. Live whatever alternative lifestyle you want. I don't care. But don't fucking piss on my leg with your fake fucking dildo dick and tell me it's raining. Like, <laughs> stop. Enough.